Everyone was shocked when they first heard that I was going to take Sinovac. Like, oh my god, why? I do feel more comfortable with the way traditional vaccines are made using an inactivated virus. The mRNA vaccine has been used millions of doses around the world. The amount of data that has come back has been rigorous, robust, and the whole data has been examined with a microscope. The Sinovac safety data is not as open and not as publicly available. So we actually do not know what is in this grey box. In its early trial, it is shown that the antibody generated by the Sinovac vaccine was actually lower than that generated by people who have gotten COVID. If you look at the data, the efficacy of preventing hospitalization and preventing death is very similar for both vaccines. I don't think we have sufficient data with respect to the efficacy on variants for any single vaccines. Same after six months, when seeing enough vaccine, effectivity uh, or in protection is decreasing. And the second one, it seems this Sinovac vaccine, again, Delta variant is less effective compared to the messenger RNA or AstraZeneca. That's why it's very important to have this booster. And so far, we don't see any uh, problem with this mixed uh, combination. still very early to, to tell whether this would be something that we would, that would be effective or that we would actually implement. It is better to have some vaccination and no vaccination. You have two highly effective vaccines, the messenger RNA vaccines. I would recommend that for those who are considering what vaccines to take, those would be your first choices.